All right, guys, welcome back to Full Moon Hot Rods. Tonight we're out here in the shop, and uh, you can see that wheel well right there. We're going to see if we can't make a new one tonight. I don't know if we'll get it installed, but at least we can get one made, and I'll take y'all along for the ride on that, on making one. Um, but those had been put in there years ago by somebody. They had boogered them up pretty good. Looks like they might have stick welded them in. Not sure, but... Uh, I'm gonna see if I can't straighten it out. And I got to put quarter patches on it too, but I probably won't get that far tonight. All I'm gonna do tonight is just try to make the, the wheel wheels. All right, let's see what we can do with it. All right, guys, you see here the wheel wheel, how bad a shape it is in the lower part. And there's where somebody had put a, a patch on it at some time or another. But like I was saying, it looks like they might have stick welded it in there. I'm not sure where they've patched places in it and stuff. This one here hasn't been replaced from right here back, but uh, the other side has. It's had a strip put on it. But I could go there and just put a, a lower piece in it and not cut all the wheel wheel out, but it's, it's, it's a little bit out of shape. So it might be better off just to go ahead and try to make one to go in it. But um, we'll see how it goes as we're going see what we want to do. All right, let's see what we can do with it. All right, guys, all I've done is just took an old piece of poster board, <clears throat> taped it onto the quarter panel. Um, now I got to find my outline that I want. So what I'm gonna do is just come down to my bead, my fender opener, get my fingers all dirty. Try to find that line, just work it out. Okay, you can see there I got a rough outline. So what I'm gonna do is go there and cut this off. all sorts of ways you can do it. You can do it with your finger, you can do it like I just did with the marker. I mean, just a rough shape, all we're trying to get, and we'll just keep cutting it till we get it to fit like we want. All right, let's see if we can't get this here cut out. One good thing about it, my studs are still in my quarters, so for my fenders, <clears throat> so I can just push my pattern up, find the spot, 
All right, guys, right here, all I did was <clears throat> find the center of my beads that's running in my wheel well. So now I'm gonna go here. Let me crawl under here and I'll mark my holes for my rear fender braces too. I'll see if I can't go ahead and get that. I may have to cut it, cut it off and then mark them, I'm not sure. All right, let's take, we'll take a straight edge and mark this, and then I'll go back and maybe, I don't know, three eighths of an inch or half an inch or something like that to, to bend under. So let's see if we can get that marked out and we'll be ready to cut some metal here in a minute. All right guys, there it is laid out. I just took a straight uh, straight edge and went from where I put my corner marks on both sides, right here. Just took the top line is where my break is gonna be, right here. 
I added a half inch to it, come down a half inch. And I'm gonna cut that off on that, on this line. I'll break it on this one and then I'll bead roll these beads in. These here will be bead rolled right here. So, all right, let me get this here cut off and then we'll start transferring it to some metal. All right, guys, I added another quarter of an inch to it just to have some cushion. That way I can bend it and put, it, put the pattern back on there and make sure I'm right and not cut my metal too short. All right, let's cut this here. All right, guys, there's the pattern. Let me see where I put this piece of just bend it over the edge of the table to make me a 90 on it. Let's see if it'll fit. You see how it fits here? It fits pretty good. Um, <clears throat> once I cut it out in the metal, then I'll go there and fine tune everything to fit. But this here should get us real close to start with. So let me transfer this to some metal. We'll cut it out, put some beads in it, break that bottom, drill some holes, and then we'll try it back out there and see how it fits. If it fits good, I'll take this pattern and transfer it to the other side, see if, it, if it'll work on the other side. If it will, I won't have to go through the problem of making the pattern again. I can just cut another one out of my metal and just do it backwards from the other. That's all I have to do. All right, let's see what we got. All right, we got it. We got the pattern on the um, sheet of metal. I added another eighth of an inch to it. <clears throat> That way I'll have a whole inch that I can I can bend over and because you have to bend it under the lip on the subframe. I'm gonna do it like that and if I don't need it all, I'll just trim some of it off. But let's get this here marked. All right, guys, these are those holes that I marked on the back side that holds the fender braces. So let's see if we can't get a mark on those. Okay, that's my dots where I took the center punch and popped it on top of my, my lines for my beads. So now I'm gonna go here. Okay, and there's, I got my beads laid out on it now. I don't know if you can see it or not, and then on that metal and shiny, but you can see it right there. Okay, let me see if we can cut this out.
All right, guys, there it is uh, cut out. I need to drill a few holes in it. Let me see if I can get those drilled and um, we'll, we'll start bead rolling and then we'll do that break on the bottom of it. All right, guys, let's see if we can get these holes drilled. got that part done. So let's get it these bead rolls and see what we can do. Alright guys, for uh before we bead roll it, let's make sure that all the holes line up. That'd probably be a good idea. Okay. Alright, here's the panel. As you can see everything everything lined up on it. Let's see. I don't know if you can see through it or not, but all the holes and everything for the fender brakes is lined up. So that should be good now. Just run my beads in it, break the bottom break the bottom of it. And that panel there will be done. All right, I got everything I believe set up. Roll my beads now. All I got is old cheap Harbor Freight uh, bead roller that I modified and put a wheel on it where I can. Uh, it's just easier to do by myself. But um, anyway, let's see if we can get some beads in this piece of metal. All right, guys, there it is, bead roll. <clears throat> the way I'm gonna do it, the beads are not gonna be as wide because I don't have the dies to make them as wide as what come on it originally. But it don't really matter because it's not gonna be original anyway. So let's get a, 
a break on the bottom of this and this panel here will be done. sure my beads are the right way or if I bend it wrong then uh, I'd be out so let's see what happens Okay guys, there it is, bent up. Let's take it back to the car and see how it fits. All right guys, there's the new panel. Uh, I got it in place, got all the bolts in it just to hold it in place for the video. But it'll actually fit better when I take the old one out. Um, Cause like I said, the other one is, it is way out of shape, uh, whoever, had worked on this car a long time ago. They they boogered it up pretty good around the bottom edges. So I'm gonna see if I can't straighten it out. But that's the way I make my wheel wheel patch panels. But like I say, it's not exactly like an original, but the car is not gonna be original. So it don't really matter. But um, there you go, guys. All right, guys, that's the way I make my wheel wheel uh, patch panels. Um, Y'all comment, like, and subscribe. I'd love to have uh, a thousand subscribers and we're getting close. So if you're watching and you keep coming back watching or you're first time, subscribe, help me out. All right, y'all take it easy.